No, no. That's good. What's what are you Yeah, that's like appropriate. Grade? Like seven? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the pictures are fine. They're a little bit like a cartoonish, but uh, I mean, every human being has uh, stuff that's even more real than that. <laughs> no, because everyone has those body parts when they're children, and uh, ha not knowing about them could be dangerous, especially in cases where like it's something's wrong. And so it's important to know about like you have those body parts, so seeing them drawn on a page isn't going to be a problem. It's roughly what we have in Canada and I think it's pretty healthy for kids to from a young age start talking about those things with the real words and be exposed to it from an adult with like a serious perspective instead of like just chatting amongst themselves and laughing about it. <laughs> I think it's very graphic even though in, in Europe in Austria we're not so uptight about those things. But I do think that in grade one or two, this might be a little graphic. But the rest is, is nice, I think. It's definitely a good thing uh, for later on. If, but if they really have to do this in the f first year of school, I'm not so sure about that. Uh, I think it's still enough if uh, they do it when they are like 10, 11 years old. That's still absolutely fine. To teach against abuse, number one. Kids that age are discovering their bodies, so if you can guide them in a more responsible way, that's, that's the main purpose of those sex ed classes. It's not to teach them to have sex in primary school, it's just to teach them about their body and how, how it is and how the opposite sex is and just basic biology. Um, it's important because if you don't, if you're not educated, you could make bad, unsafe decisions about sex or your own body. And um, if anything happens and you don't feel comfortable talking about it, it could get worse. I think it's super. I think it's super important, especially in in China. What I learned from my friends is people don't know much about this topic right from the school. So I think it's super important. Maybe a little later, but it's generally important. I think. Um, I think it's important to learn about sex and sexual health when you're younger because when you start learning about it in sixth grade when it's already stigmatized then you don't take it seriously and you kind of just make fun of the education but if you start learning about it when you're young then you can fully absorb everything and take your body more seriously and understand it better when you're older. A kid will get the information from somewhere. So it's best that the information comes from a parent or comes from at least from some responsible source. We had the classes and like uh, the nurse will come and we have like uh, private sessions and we, we can ask questions and they, they demonstrate the things that we have to learn. And then I think it was like around 13 years old we had that. And then after I had the discussions with my parents and my family. In my country, it's it starts from the fifth grade in the school. So and yeah, sure, the the parents also will tell you a lot. Yeah? Sure, they also will take care of this. So mostly you will learn, I guess, from the from the parents. So it's their obligation to do so. <laughs> I think we started um, in fifth grade. Yeah, but usually your parents tell you a lot about it, but um, I still think the earlier the better. It's important. Yep.